Stacks and queues in C-sharp are generic collection types. They are most similar to lists in that they do not have a fixed size and are strongly typed to contain objects of the same data type. To be clear, I'm talking about the stack and queue objects that are part of the collections.generic library. In previous implementations of stack and queue, before C-sharp contained generic data types, stack and queue were not strongly typed. Two basic collection objects to understand in programming overall are the stack and the queue. These objects operate using LIFO and FIFO ordering for adding and removing items from a collection. A stack uses LIFO, which stands for last in, first out. Think of it like a stack of plates. The last plate put on top of the stack is the first plate I'd grab if I took a plate. So the last plate in is the first plate out. The previous plate I added to the stack would therefore be the next plate off the stack, and so on. It works from the last item added down to the first item added. A queue uses FIFO, which stands for first in, first out. Think of this as queuing or lining up, like getting in line to buy food. The first person to get in line is the first person to buy their food. The next person to get in line behind them is the next person to buy their food. It works from the first item added backwards to the last item added. Creating a stack or queue in C-sharp is the same syntax as creating a list. To create a stack, you'll go ahead and, just like a list, you'll call for a stack object, and then you need to go ahead and give it a data type. Go ahead and give it a string data type, and keep it simple, we'll call it stack. Okay? And then you need to instantiate a new instance of the stack object. Again, just like a list, you would call stack, and then the data type again. The three main operations of a stack are push, pop, and peek. Push goes ahead and adds an item to the top of the stack. So let's go ahead and let's add two items to the top of the stack. Now peek allows us to go ahead and see what is the item that is on top of the stack without removing the item from the stack. And then there's pop. Pop goes ahead and removes the item from the top of the stack. If we go ahead and finish this example here and run it. You'll see that we added A and then B. And then when we looked at what was on top of the stack first, we saw the letter B. We then popped whatever was on top of the stack and checked the next item on top, which would be the letter A. Now, queues are written very similarly. You go ahead and you call for the object queue, and then you need to go ahead and give it the data type that you want it to store. In this case, we'll have it store an int. Now, queues have three main operations. They're on queue, dequeue, and peak. On queue, we'll go ahead and push an element to the end of the queue. Okay. Now, if there's no items in the queue, then that means you have now added the first item to the queue. Peak, similar to what it does in stack, will go ahead and tell you what the next item in the queue is, or in this case, the first item at the front of the line, without actually doing anything with it. And then DQ will go ahead and remove whatever the item is at the front of the line. Let's go ahead and let's run this example. You'll see here, we added to the queue one, and then we added two. And then when we looked at what was at the top, one. We then dequeued whatever was at the top and said, look again, and then we got two. Now, you might wonder, why use a queue or a stack when I can simply use a list and use it as if it were a stack or a queue? depending on the need. The answer is less technical and more about writing good code. Whereas there are arguments that you may get slightly better performance from a stack or a queue over a list, it's going to be pretty negligible. What really makes the case to use one over the other is making it so that your code is written with intention. If I'm working alone, I might be able to skirt around this, 
but if I'm working with other developers and I create a collection that needs to be read from back to front or from front to back, if they see that I've used a stack or a queue, they'll understand. If I use a list, I have to hope that they recognize how the list is being used simply by reading my code before they make any changes 